The Tableau Viz Lighting Web Component is a new tool for Salesforce developers and admins who want to embed and integrate Tableau into Salesforce. In this demo, I will demo the Tableau Viz Lighting Web Component and highlight three key features. Customization of the look and feel of the Viz, context filtering on the page, and advanced filtering that lets you define your own filters. Let's dig in. As a Tableau user, I have multiple dashboards available on Tableau, the sharing and collaboration platform. I'm interested in this particular dashboard that is showing all my LinkedIn data for myself and my team. I blended this with data coming from Salesforce so I can better understand if there is any correlation between my sales and my LinkedIn activity. Ideally, I would like both myself and my team to access it on Salesforce, so they can take action from insights found on the dashboard directly inside Salesforce. I'm going to jump to Salesforce. I already installed the Lighting Web Component, the Tableau Viz Lighting Web Component from App Exchange. So I'm going to edit the page to drag and drop the lighting tableau with lighting web component on the page. Once I have it drag and dropped, I can see a tableau visualization from Tableau Public. It's there to show me an example of a viz embedded in Salesforce. And let me know that things are working. But I don't want data with Tableau dashboard from Tableau Public. I want my own dashboard with my team data. So I'm going to jump back to Tableau and get the embedding link here. I can jump back to the Lighting Web component and paste it here. I can also customize the look and feel of the face itself. For example, let's show the toolbar. We can also edit the height of the face. Once I'm done with personalizing the look and feel of the face, I can save it and go back. Now, everyone in my team accessing Tab Salesforce can see Tableau embedded in the home page and can get insight from the dashboard embedded in Salesforce. Now let's jump to the user page. I already have a lighting component on the page. I'm going to edit the URL. Here we can see more options. We have what we call in context filtering. I have data for myself, but my team as well, team members. I want to see only the data I care about. So I'm going to use the in-context filtering and use the box here. ta -da! In one click, I have the data I care about and the data that are relevant for me. I can save it. Now let's go to the account page. I can see, because I'm on a recall page, all the filtering options. But here, I cannot filter the data on the ID. I'm on the account page and I don't have any data on the account on the Viz. But I can use the user information. I can see I have the account owner here that I can use. So let's set it up. User ID is the name of a field on the Tableau side and I want to use the owner ID on the Salesforce side. And again, ta -da! we have this filter down for the data that are relevant for the end user accessing the fees. Save and I'm good to go. Now, anyone who view this page will see the Tableau dashboard filtered down to the data that is the most relevant for the page that they are looking at. In this demo, we looked at all the features of the Tableau Viz Lighting Web Component. First, we saw how we can personalize the look and feel of the Viz. Then, we use 
in context filters to filter the dashboard based on the specific Salesforce record being viewed. Finally, I show you how you can define your own filter based on the information that you have on the viz and on the Salesforce page.